welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of things. On a Sunday at 7 a.m. I generally upload like organization, or a haul, or a chat, or some sort of Disney. And then every Wednesday at 7 a.m. I upload a weekly vlog, which is kind of either a week in the life of me, or a day in the life of me, or just something interesting in the life of me. And today I am back with a full Christmas house tour. So if you are new to the channel, today is my little girl's ninth birthday. So there are a couple of bits and bobs up there, but you'll be like, that's not very Christmassy, that's a bit birthday-ish. Just ignore those with your eyes. Um, also, if you are new to the channel, old people will know who follow me for that I love, love, love Christmas. November the 1st, boom, is Christmas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go around the house, chat about my Christmas decorations, and just be a bit of a chatty video, really. I will do a disclaimer. It's not like the most sophisticated decorations or the most glamorous decorations. It's just a kind of normal family's decorations, things we've collected over the years. I haven't bought too much new stuff this year, actually. Um, but I'm just gonna talk you, kind of chat through the knickknacks, because a lot of them have very special memories. So let's start at the back, we'll go to the kitchen, we'll do the living room, we'll do the front room, and then I'll go up and show you my bedroom. Right, let's start at the back. These are my shelves of dreams. I absolutely love this shelf. When we moved into our house, there's three shelves in the kitchen, and I made it in the contract, you can say what you want to keep and all this, that and the other, and I was like, please can we keep the shelf? So we actually moved one here when we did our kitchen. I'll leave our kitchen video below because we had our kitchen done. Um, oh, when did we have it done? I want to say Easter time. So just up here, we have got a little sign which says, it's the most wonderful time of the year, which is, I'm going to say old home sense. We have a tan of Gnome. I have a lot of gnomes. I call them Gnomes. Let's just embrace it. I don't know where he's from, but I'm sure he came in a pack of three. I can't remember. They're just in my house. This is a new addition to the gnome family. She is the only girl gnome, so she's in charge of all the men gnomes. So they live on my little shelf. And that's really all I've got here. When it's Christmas Eve, I've got lots of bunches of flowers everywhere because it's my birthday as well. When it's Christmas Eve, this will be decorated in like a Christmas Eve tablescape. Oh, in fact, I'll show you the plates and stuff I've bought in a bit from Sainsbury's. So this will be for Christmas Eve and then like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, then up till New Year, we kind of have like nice plates and stuff out. So, and these are the wonky. <laughs> Steve put them on so wonky, but... Let's ignore that. If you want to look for something similar that's straighter, these are from Poundland. Not Poundland, I'm talking about these are from Ikea and they're like £4. Um, so yeah, this will be changed in a few weeks. Now guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that my hot chocolate station was featured in the Times today. The actual Times newspaper. I laughed so much. My manager messaged me and he was like, Emma, and we've just had this message from a journalist and they put a photo on it and everything. So this is Times approved. If you don't live in the UK, the Times is like a very fancy newspaper. So this is my hot chocolate station. Um, you, there's been some new additions since you last saw it. So there's lots of bits and pieces. I still can't find the sign that my lovely friend bought me. Ah, so frustrating. So we have got these are from Gisela Graham. They're quite old. This is from a garden center and actually oh that's sort of something in the garden then it terrified me it lights up and um, we've got marshmallows in this this is from paper chase a uh, little tree at the back is from Wilco's Wilco's had some really nice stuff actually I think the straws are home bargains we've got some candy canes we've got some little festive sprinkles we've got a little poundland nutcracker We've got Mr. Father Christmas with the tea bags in. I've got some salted caramel Baileys, which you will have seen in the Costco video. It is phenomenal. And also, my lovely friend Jocelyn, if you watch my what I got for my birthday video, she bought me some fancy hot chocolates. So, this is just the hot cocoa station with, oh, these pom poms from Amazon, and this is from Amazon. So, this is where we have our kettle, and this is just where I make my drinks. 
Um, it's actually in w this part of the kitchen did not exist, but we got the man to make it over the top of the, the tumble dryer. So I love this little bit. This portion of the kitchen, this sign reindeer treats last year was up there, but we moved the shelves and I could not fit it up there anymore. So it goes here now. So this was from the range, the range or B&M. It's one of those shops. I think the range. Yeah. Um, here we've got like my Ray Dunn head chef. There was no Ray Dunn this Christmas guys. I've not seen hide nor tail, hide nor hair. What's the phrase? I've got this little um, Primark days till Christmas. However, I'm gonna moan a bit. You'd think they'd have like a, a hole because every day you have to like tip it out and it's a real, quite frankly, it's a pain in the bum, but it's four quid. I should stop moaning. This I've had for years, a little Merry Christmas sign and I love it. I don't know what it was. I got it in like a little knickknack shop locally. And then up here we just have a lot of festive tat. We have um, candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. We have all you need is love and Christmas cookies. We've got some more garden centre little houses which light up. We have a gingerbread man Yankee candle tea light holder that my friends Dave and Rachel bought for my birthday, I think two or three years ago. We have a little lady here, don't know where she's come from, but I like her. We have some fake giant Candy canes from a Raiden treats jar, which I like out um, at Christmas and Halloween. A fa la la. Oh, that's like, what's it? Uh, what films are fa la la? Oh, Captain Underpants. <laughs> uh, with some candy canes in. And then this tree, I ordered it off Amazon a couple of years ago, I think. And I added these lovely little pom poms. These are my favourite decorations of uh, this year. And it, they were two for a pound and then it was three for two so for two pound I got six is that the right maths moving on here I'm moving on to better things anybody know that song we have a Christmas pud this usually has like mince pies and if we have friends over or quality street that kind of stuff down here I've just got a Christmas towel and a Christmas oven glove in here actually we have more Christmas tea towels that I collect. Uh, little, what are they called? Oh my gosh, let me know in the comments. Cloths, I can't remember what they're called. Um, and I got these from Sainsbury's to go on the back for Christmas. Also a little Christmas Kathy Kidson runner. Down here we have got the Apple Spice Limited Edition Flash. I've got this that was um, actually gifted to me by Matalan. And I got this when Erin um, and I went to Winter Wonderland a few weeks ago. Uh, if you've never been before, I highly recommend it. It's really, really good. Ethan, Daddy, Mummy and Erin. I absolutely love gingerbread man. And my candle of choice, which I've not lit for the video. How unfestive of me. Sugar Frost Christmas. Let me have it a sniff. Oh, look, it's going a bit funny at the bottom. Hmm. I've been keep Because I keep my candles for a couple of years. Sometimes they do go a little bit dodge. So let me know. Now this beautiful bouquet of flowers has just been sent by my manager. So Paul, if you're watching this, hello. But what the lol is, is that he sent me a bunch last week as well. I was like, um, you seem to by accident. So I've now got two. He sent me the ones over there and now I've, now I've got another bouquet, but I'm gonna, I think I'll say this is for Erin's birthday. Did make me laugh. This sign here, good cheer here, it's wood. I absolutely love it. I'll tell a little story. So in um, the Midlands, I can't remember what it was called. It was called like, The Magical Journey. So it was when Erin was four and there was this place in Birmingham. It was like supposed to be amazing and magical and loads of people bought tickets and the website, it was like, oh, it was like going to the North Pole. And then you got there and it was nothing like the website. So we went on like, very early in December and we had the whole family and I still had a really lovely, lovely time and I got that signed, it was worth it just for that. But it was actually closed down the day after we went out of absolute outrage because people said it was so bad and they'd spent such a fortune. So that sign, good for me, not so good for those people. Right, we're moving into the living room. This is the main tree. Now, we do have some visitors in the main tree at the moment. 
which who don't tend to live here we have our resident elves because they were very naughty and they got in the christmas tree so these naughty little chappies will move this evening somewhere else but i, I thought i can't take them out because if you take them out they lose the magic so i'm afraid you're just gonna have to embrace it so the main christmas tree we go for i'm saying we we all know it's me but we go for like greys and silvers and coppers and it's it's actually quite plain really um we were gifted these these decorations last year these pom-pom ones i love pom-pom ones are from ikea we have an e and an s on and they are from m and s these aren't very sentimental to be honest this is just kind of like because it's nice we have my parents uh, Christmas presents down there to be given to tomorrow to take them home with them and I'm going to show you the classiest bit I said make sure people can't see the wire Stephen well I don't think you can see the wire it's almost as if it is invisible so we just have this is that lovely little tree it's fake and Erin's got happy birthday <laughs> couch we have a Merry Christmas pillow I don't know where it's from I'm going to say TK Maxx Lucy Doo -doo. Yeah, she's really excited by Christmas, as you can tell. Over here, we have... Oh, I've got a roaring fireplace on. No, I haven't. It's on YouTube. So if we have anybody come over for Christmas and we're chatting and stuff, it's nice to have this little fireplace on. And it does make a noise, but I've turned it off. Lots of Christmas um, birthday cards for Erin. And a nine balloon. So down here, we have our fireplace. And these have all sorts of little knickknacks on. So I've collected trees over the years from different places I've been to. The candle that we have here is Christmas cookie. We've also got the winter candle by the White Company, which is lovely, very strong. The two little ceramic gnomes, there and there, they are from Copenhagen when I went for my 40th. Um, the little houses we were gifted last year. The plant is from Tesco's. The big giant vase there is from my nanny Joyce's house when she went into dementia home. Mum was like, do you want anything? And I wanted that big vase. Um, Ethan bought me that little plant there for my birthday, which is really cute, actually. Look, it's a real plant. It's um, got all like little snow and stuff on it. But I really like it, and I think more flowers. I think in the new year, I'm going to keep the fireplace kind of plants and whites and creams because I think it's really nice. I like it a lot. Oh, and if you can't see, the little sparkly thing had, I wasn't trumping then, that was the table moving, has all little baubles on, which were from Primark. Right, let's go in the front room. In the little hall, we have just a little pom-pom garland that was from Home Sense last year. I didn't use it last year and then I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna put that up. Let's go into the front room. I have gone in heavy on the cushions <laughs> and these look Christmassy. That one is a Christmas specific one, but I don't think these are. So this one, these two came with the couch. This one, which I love, and Lucy has only pulled one pom pom off, so that's good, was from Wilco's. These two are from Home Sense, and I will say, these two were incredibly expensive cushions, but I used some on my birthday money. We have a blanket, which I'm gonna hazard a guess, probably home sense, as is she, but she actually lives here all year. So she lives there all year because I think she looks like me, a little cherry angel. We have some bunting that my friend Kate bought me for my birthday years ago, which is from Laura Ashley and I absolutely Flipping love it. Over here, because Erin's birthday cards are in the other room, I've started to put Christmas cards up here. We've got these pom-poms. I'm sorry, I don't know where they're from, but I bloody love them. And I wish I'd bought more when I'd seen them. We have a little tree up there, another little tree, just kind of like kiddie decorations. And then in the fireplace, we have Hello, little Nami. He was my first one. He, he must have come in the pack of three, and I think he came from Birmingham Market. We've got a sugar cookie candle, which is my faves. That's a really nice one, that is. In fact, I'm going to light that as soon as you lot go. We have this, 
which actually I'm a bit sad because one of the ribbons has fallen off but I don't think if I hadn't have pointed it out you wouldn't know Lucy's got a red dog bed which you know she never sleeps in over here we have a little mouse who's just living a best life looking at the tree and then this tree was from Argos and it is brand new for this year in my house and it is a multicolored tree and these are kind of like kid decorations so I put some of the pom-poms on but these are things that I've just picked up over the years like as in years 15 years probably some of them are probably I would say the things like that is pre-Steven little cats I've got some little cupcakes which Erin loves a little mushroom I kind of tried to stick to materially ones a little gingerbread man and then on the top I got this from I'm gonna say Marks and Spencer's I had 20% off and I just think it looks really cute so it's just like a little the little kiddie tree I really really like it so here are my my pride and joys we have the cookie palace and the little tiny house from the Lamax range I'm gonna buy one of these every year so I bought this one and Stephen actually got this one look it's me Stephen and Lucy oh. <laughs> got that for my um birthday and I bought this one myself so maybe I'll just get Stephen to get me one for my birthday each year at night when the lights on not gonna lie a little bit creepy and I added a little Wilco tree but I they're my pride and joy they're just I just think they're so cute up here just have a little you know me and this was from Asda a long time ago and I really like it it's nice image and some more flowers I haven't been looking with my flowers and um, for my birthday they're my from my friend Sarah so yes this is the downstairs is there anything else I think oh just nearly broke my neck tripping over something very cute oh, let's take you upstairs Actually, before I take you upstairs, I thought I'd give you a little update on Lucy. So just before I filmed this video, the vet actually phoned and gave us news that we kind of knew, really. She was just kind of confirming the news we already knew. So Lucy had a large tumour removed from her. At the same time, she also had a biopsy on three smaller lumps. So it was quite a big operation. Sadly, those two of those three lumps were cancerous and it transpires that one of them is a live, kind of quite a big tumour. So the next step with Lucy is to wait until uh, the new year because she's just had an operation. She can't really just go and have another operation then she will get a scan and we will see what the deal is. If it's a certain type of tumour, unfortunately, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what to say. Unfortunately, we'll just have to kind of wait. Um, but if it's a different type, we can give her another operation. We just need to decide because she obviously found the last operation super traumatic and and she is 12 so we just need to we need to make the right decision but as i said she can't we can't do anything until january so i will give you an update in kind of mid-january on how that's going in herself i'm so thankful it's got to be got a bit upset then in myself i'm in herself i'm so thankful she is fine like she's really happy she's eating her food she's really like Go, she's still going on walks, we're giving her big cuddles, we're giving her loads of treats. Like this morning for Erin's birthday, she was like all up in the presents and like just just the same as she's always ever has been, to be honest, if if not a little bit more loving. So, I, as I said, I will keep you posted, but we're going to make sure that this is the best Christmas that that little dog has ever had. Right, let's go upstairs. We are up in my bedroom now. Old subscribers to the channel will know that I have a Disney kind of themed bedroom. So obviously if you've seen this before I do apologise but there are some new knickknacks that you might want to hang around for and I will just kind of show you what I have in my bedroom. It makes me really, really happy. I think as a mum sometimes you kind of 
Christmas is all about the kids and it's all about the family and getting the presents, making sure everything's all right, you know. And then I just thought, Do you know what? I want something for myself, and this makes me really happy. And it is not a tidy bedroom. We have many advent calendars, but kind of this room is in the top floor, and it's always been like almost like the center of the household. Um, you know, the kids, one of them's always sleeping with us and people are coming up and doing dance routines here or we're snuggling watching a film. So it's just really nice to have another really silly, it's, it may be not a room that, you know, you might not want to have your fanciest guest rounds, but it's definitely a room that you want to have a snuggle in the bed with the kids with. So I will show you what we've got going on up here. Let's get the mess out of the way. First of all, we have an advent calendars. So the kids have got Harry Potter Lego, Ethan has, and a um, like chocolate one. That plant usually is over the other side, but because the tree's there, it can't be. Um, Erin's got a smuggle one. My mum actually got her like a, a beauty calendar with um, Despicable Me. I have no idea where that's from. I was gifted a glossy box one, which I'm very impressed with actually. Because you know me, I usually have a Yankee Candle one and I haven't this year. And Stephen has a lint one. So every morning the kids run up here, open their advent calendar, open my advent calendar, try and get Stephen to give them his advent calendar. Then they go downstairs to find out what is going on with the elves. And then we come to my favourite place. So we have got a... Mickey and Minnie blanket from Primark. If you go back and watch my Disney Christmas Primark video, you will see that on it. I have a lovely new bedspread for 2019 and this was from Asda. I say that with either Asda or Sainsbury's. I'm gonna go Asda, it's about 14 pound. They're great from Asda, like the novelty ones. They're not the kind of softest, but they're, they're great. Then we've gone weird on the pillows. <laughs> this is a really old Asda. That is old Aldi. Then these three were gifted from Donnell Mill at the start of the year. And it probably looks bonkers to you lot, but I just love it. It's a lot of pillows. In the corner, we have um, a lovely gnome that a uh, subscriber actually made me or a follower made me. So if this is you, let me know in the comments. She got her friend to make it, I think, and she gave it to me at one of my meetups, and I love him. And I actually think he's gonna be a year-round gnome in my house. Currently got a couple of books that I am trying to find the time to read. Silka's Journey and Dear Girls by Ali Wong. So Silka's Journey is from the um, Auschwitz, the Tattooist of Auschwitz kind of author, and I loved that book. So I'm hoping over Christmas to read that. Up here, on this little picture, so I probably mentioned this before, but a while ago, years ago, a few years ago, we moved into the house, I went to TK Maxx to buy some bits and pieces, home sense to buy some bits and pieces. We have this little picture that looks just like my Lucy and it says Lucy underneath it. And I was like, I have to buy it. Uh, got these two little bits from Primark and they just kind of sit there and go, hiya, and just wave, very, very cute. In this little corner, it's kind of a bit scandy really, isn't it? We have a tree from Home Sense or somewhere. Um, I've got a candle that um, my friend bought, Vanilla Bean and Berry, which is a gorgeous candle. Very, very, very strong. These here are the lyrics to Vanilla Ice. If you scan over it, my friend Sarah bought me that a couple of years ago. And then I've got my new all diffuser that my mum bought me with the vanilla scent in. So this is just like, just a little corner of the room. Just by my dressing table, we have a little 16 days to go and I have mentioned this before because it was very expensive and it's not brilliant quality from Disneyland Paris. And just a little candle. And then we'll go over to the tree. So you can't see it because it's daylight. Can you see it? No, this is, I don't know what the word is, fibre optic. It's a fibre optic tree. So at night it kind of glows like greens and reds and purples and it's really relaxing to go to sleep to. And on this tree we have lots of decorations from Primark. We also have decorations, which I've talked about before, from our various trips to Disney. So that is from Disneyland Paris. This is from Disney World Florida, I think. 
We've got a few Shop Disney some sums which are very very cute. That's Disney World there as well. I wonder actually, I wonder where he's from. Shall we have a look? Does it say what parks they're from? No. Hmm. I need to start writing it down so I can remember when the when the the tree is full and the kids are older. But that's definitely Disney World. Um, it's also got Mickey tinsel on and Mickey topper on. And I just love it really. It's just got lots of memories. That's from another Disney park. We tend to get, oh here we go, Chippendale, that's from Paris. We tend to get a decoration that represents something we really enjoyed. So when Erin and I went to Paris, we really enjoyed the Ratatouille ride. When we went to Paris, we met Chippendale and it was really, really fun. Um, obviously, everybody loves a Mickey waffle. You'd be bonkers if you didn't love a Mickey waffle. Is there any more? Oh, here we've got a bin. It's a small world bin from Disney World. So, just love it. And I can't wait for all our Disney trips to just fill it up. So, by the time, you know, I have grandkids, it'll just be full of decorations. And the last two kind of bits in here is I have this amazing Primark Disney wreath. Let's hope it lasts a year, eh, guys? Because... Mm, I don't know, the sparkles fall off it and just a little Mickey mini sign. I'd quite like it something else there, but uh, there we go. It's just, I just really like this little, I just like it a lot. I just like it. <laughs> so there we go, guys, a kind of full Christmas house tour. It's not the most spectacular. It certainly doesn't all match but it's all purchased with love and it makes me very, very happy. I think this year I've definitely relaxed a little bit with regards to kind of having to have everything picture perfect. Uh, I, obviously with my job, I've been on Instagram and YouTube now for like six years, coming up in a few weeks. So a big old, a big old time. And it's just nice to finally feel like do you know what it's okay to be yourself it's okay to have a little bit of mess here or there it's okay to you know leave Erin's birthday cards up while I do a little house tour and I hope you have really enjoyed this video let me know what you'd like to see in next week's vlog we have got a little trip to Father Christmas booked in so maybe I can film that um what else have I got booked in nothing really just kind of Christmas shenanigans maybe I could talk about wrapping the presents or Whatever you want, let me know. Your wish is my command. Right, guys, I love you lots, and I will see you on Sunday for another upload. Night.